This video is a short introduction to the capabilities and features of the Realtrack 10 system. Many companies use Excel spreadsheets or a simple database to aid them in managing their data. A comprehensive shop management software solution like the Realtrack ERP shop control system can be a great step up in information, organization, and management, a necessity in today's competitive environment. Most ERP systems are too complicated to cover in a short time period, but since Realtrack is easier and simpler, we're able to do a comprehensive overview of the system over the short course of this video. We expect you'll be running your first job in the Realtrack system in the first week, not months like other systems. Also, whereas the complicated nature of many systems requires you to hire a system coordinator to run the software, we firmly believe you will not need to bring in a new hire to run Realtrack. I'll be navigating the system in real time so that you can see how easy it is to navigate our product. First, we need to define ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. ERP puts the same precision into machine shop management that you put into your precision parts. ERP manages and brings together the information handled by a company's different department processes, such as financial, engineering, and manufacturing. Realtrack software organizes and helps manage these processes. The key to learning an ERP system is to think about the framework of business processes, then model the data flow of the system to match best practices. The implementation of Realtrack is a great time to think about your business processes and practices and to ensure you're operating at peak efficiency. The system works on any PC from Windows XP through Windows 10. Our login system provides many benefits, but two I'd like to highlight are the floating preference system and audit trail. As soon as we log into the system, the Realtrack server delivers all of my individualized preferences. I'm actually able to float from computer to computer using Realtrack, and all of my preferences will follow me. As for an example of the audit trail, we're now able to tell who changed an address for a vendor, when they changed it, and even what computer they were logged into when they made the change. So we're going to start a tour here looking at the job screen of Realtrack, and we can see how Realtrack 10 can help you win the business race. The concept of the job is one of the basic building blocks of the Realtrack software. From the Realtrack toolbar, we're able to click on the Job button, which launches the Job Group window. We call it the Group window because this window bundles in several different modes, or ways to look at and manipulate our jobs. You'll note that the job window has two tabs, a list jobs tab, which also allows us to browse, net search, and navigate amongst the various jobs of the Realtrack system, and the job entry form tab. As soon as I find a job that interests me under the list jobs tab, I can double click on that job and take a deep dive into the details. Looking at the list jobs tab, you'll notice we have many columns of data on the screen. We can right-click on the data columns to add or remove columns and customize the view. The top two rows of the grid are search fields. Note that we provide dynamic search results, meaning searching is lightning fast. These same concepts appear on many of our screens, so take time to familiarize yourself with them. Above the current screen, there's a tab titled Job Entry Form. With the job selected in the grid, I will now click on this tab to automatically see the specifics of my job. Within the job entry form, we enter information such as our customer, part information, quality, and price. We're able to drag and drop files onto this file tool strip to automatically attach them to the job. All file types are accepted, and even an email can be dragged from your email client to the job. Looking at the other tabs, we keep track of our list of operations in the router. Here we featured a duplicate router from a previous job since many jobs are done similarly. On the Bill tab, we list the items bought for the job. This is critical for tracking costs. The list of goods needed for the job is laid out on the bottom or Bill of Materials. It's integrated with inventory tracking from purchase orders and inventory. The purchase order, shipping, invoice, cost and material usage, scheduling, and the job's place in the queue are also available at your fingertips. Realtrack features an extensive reporting system, allowing you to choose which data you want to see and what format you want to see it in. 
These reports can be previewed on screen and then printed directly or exported to PDF or a variety of other formats. Manually logging your work session is one way to track your labor hours in the system. First, we need to create the data for where the work will be done. To create a workstation, we just go to our system setup and enter a name, number, and average cost per hour for running the station. A work center is defined as a group of workstations that are so similar, each station does essentially the same work. To create a work center, use the same steps to make a workstation, but also enter average QRs and operating hours and days. Now we can manually log a session of our router and have created a workstation for our job. Using the search, we can see what jobs we have available and select our job. Then we select the router operation station and employee. The hours worked and pieces completed are a critical aspect of making the data accurate and useful. The optimal and preferred method to log work is in real time by shop floor employees. The employees can choose their name and assign themselves to an active job operation. They're assigned a workstation by default, but they can choose another. Once that's done, they'll click Accept to log their time. The time log will automatically skip over the break times assigned in the system. Upon completion of the operation, employees will reselect their name and enter the pieces completed as well as the pieces scrapped. The ability for shop floor employees to enter data is beneficial to management. It enables them to quickly check on what's happening in the shop at any given time, and it offers a broad view of large amounts of data. The shop floor interface is touchscreen friendly and can be used on a Windows tablet, iPad, or iPod. We have usage for indoor devices and development as well. Our newly released quality module keeps track of non-conformances and can be used to observe and control the amount of defective product your facility creates. The quality module allows users to define both non-conformances and directive actions. Nonconformances can be attached to a specific job, and the RealTrack Business Intelligence System will monitor the status of these nonconformances. Similar to job entries, users can freely attach files to nonconformances, such as pictures of failures. Creating a nonconformance is quick and easy. Click on the Quality module and see a list of jobs that have nonconformances. Up at the top, we have the ability to enter a new nonconformance by entering in a job number and whether this is an internal, vendor, or customer error. Our nonconformance will include all relevant information from the job. We can add a description for the problem as well as a reason for its creation, such as machine maintenance. Then we'll click Accept to create our nonconformance. Similar to jobs, we can attach files by selecting a nonconformance and dragging it out of this tool strip. We can also go further and attach a directive action form so that the problem is corrected. Estimating is an important part of using RealTrack because it allows you to see the profitability of a potential job. Creating an estimate is very similar to creating a job, since an estimate can be converted to a job directly. Creating an estimate involves putting the items you want on the bill, listing those items needed for each part, and designating the router operations. Through this information, we create the data necessary for calculating cost each, as well as the number of weeks required to make a given number of parts. We can then go to the Quote tab and enter a number of parts, such as 10, 25, or 40. Then we enter in the markup for labor and buyouts, and just like that, we have a price list for our customers. Through accurate data entry, we can analyze the profit value of the job.
Creating a purchase order is as easy as selecting a vendor and location to ship to. We may need to ship to a location other than our main facility due to pre-processing. We enter in our items and quantities, then it's ready to send to our supplier and be posted to our accounting software. We're able to seamlessly integrate and communicate directly with both QuickBooks and Sage 50. Using QuickBooks as an example, Realtrack is now able to automatically add vendors, customers, employees, salespeople, and items to QuickBooks. This guarantees a high quality of data synchronized between the systems and easier and quicker work for the financial staff in your organization. Accounting integration is also used with invoices and credit balance. Creating inventory information is very helpful to keeping track of your tangible and always flowing assets in your business. Before we create an item, we must understand the item class. Similar to work centers and workstations, an item class classifies and groups together similar items. For example, raw steel is a default item class. If your company deals almost entirely in raw steel, you can make an item class for sheets of steel and a separate class for steel rods and bars. So to create an item, we choose an item class from the list or make a new one and then name the item along with the description. The description may concern certifications or other important information that needs to be known about the item. After creating the item, we have a couple of fields that flesh out the information concerning the item. For example, the reorder point and reorder quantity. This information is critical to the MRP module. MRP stands for Material Resource Planning and is useful in informing you what materials you have, need, and use. Our loading module allows you to view the bottlenecks on your machines. Looking at our main screen, we have a list of all of our workstations ordered by the load of work they have upon them. Since this machine has a lot of work on it, buying an extremely similar machine would be something to strongly consider if this were data for a real company. If we go to the Load by Days tab, we can go to a specific work center and see how much work this center has had. We also have a What If simulator, which allows us to change the parameters of the center. We can add or remove our number of available machines, hours per day, or days open per week, so if we add another machine in, it calculates how we will affect that load for this work center. Then we can go to the Contributing Jobs tab to see the details of the jobs we just saw. Complex jobs are a group of jobs that come together to create the final product to be shipped to the customer. An engine, for example, is a group of parts that come together to create a single item. This assists in mapping out a schedule and ensuring that all the job data can be connected. If we go into this job, we can see the job tree that lays out the different jobs that combine to make this final complex job. We also offer support services for all of our customers. So anytime you have difficulties with the software or need help understanding a feature you haven't used before, we'll be there to assist you. Our Eastern office opens at 8 a.m. Eastern time, and our California office closes at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So we're open at essentially all working hours, Monday through Friday. That sums up our introduction to Realtrack's software. If you're interested in purchasing, one of our sales associates can help you figure out which software package is right for your business to help you win the business race. Obtaining job shop management software is key to increasing profitability for your shop. We're sure you'll see significant results within a short time frame. We offer a 90-day money-back guarantee, so you'll feel confident there's almost nothing to lose by trying out Realtrack.